Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Lance. And we're the SAR guys. Today we're going to talk to you about GPS and the essential functions of the GPS, what you need to know and why you even bother to carry one. So the GPS that I carry is a Garmin Rhino 755, and it really doesn't matter which GPS no. you use. You can yeah. use your phone or, you know, what's yours? I've got an Oregon 700, and basically it's going to be the same for that. Right. So there's really three things you need to know for search and rescue and a GPS. You need to know where you are, yep. you need to know where you're going, and you need to know how to get back. Absolutely. And that's the only three things you need to know. And the easiest way to do that is um, with any GPS, or you set a waypoint when you start, we set waypoint at command, yep. and uh, you go on your, on your screen there and, and uh, find where there's a waypoint, set a waypoint there. And then command will usually tell us where we want to go. They'll, yep. they'll say, you know, you're going to go search this, search this quadrant, or I want you to work your way to this location and search along the road yep. or whatever that is. So mark a waypoint there as well. And then you can use whatever function you have, the go to, navigate to, or however your GPS tells you to get to that waypoint. And along the way, if the command folks call you up on the radio and they say, hey, where are you? You can just read your coordinates to them. Yeah. For me, what I do is on every screen on my GPS, I have my coordinates in a banner on the top. Yeah. And at any given time, I can tell you exactly where I am. And I also have, if I'm using the go-to function, there's an arrow that will point the direction and, and then that's the yeah. way we need to go. How do you set Absolutely. yours up? Well, it, on my organ, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. It's, you have your, your pages that you put on there and then make sure that you're selecting the right, whether or not you're using lat long or UTM, know what your, your team's using. Also, you have the Cal Topo or SAR Topo, depends on what name. Uh, I like to use it because then if you have uh, satellites or cell range, I should say, then uh, command can actually track your current progress. And so there's a lot less radio traffic and they can see live uh, feed of exactly where you're at. So one of the things I notice about the cell phone, and I, I always use the Cal Topo on my as well, you know, they, our command asks us to do mm -hmm. that, is that it does eat up the batteries. And if yeah. we're out on a mission more than two or three hours, depending yeah. on what time of day we go out and what the status of the phone is yeah. before we go out, um, I can almost guarantee if we're out more than two hours, my cell phone's going to die. And yeah. so these, all of the uh, GPS units, they're designed to go, you know, six, yeah. eight, 10 hours on a set of batteries, okay, if absolutely. not longer. So uh, the phone is great and it's a super convenient for command and for everybody else. But um, the, the go-to for us is um, our GPSs. Yeah. Uh, we have to throw in the, the thought about maps and, um, we generally don't use maps when we're out on a mission. Um, you can see the terrain where we're at is super thick. Our search areas are generally less than one mile square and the maps detail don't get down to the detail that we need for searching in these kinds of uh, conditions. Yeah. So uh, typically a map doesn't do us a lot of good unless we're doing a road search or yeah. you know we're looking in a, a huge huge area which doesn't happen very no. often uh, for our for our <clears throat> uses. So for GPS the, the things uh, to think about um, you need to know how to use your GPS whatever one it is it doesn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you know how to mark a waypoint that you need to navigate to a waypoint and basically, if you know those two things, you can go out and do your search and you can get back to command yeah. and not become the person that yeah. they're out searching for. Yeah, so. absolutely. It's, it's another tool that we have to use. And, and these can be one of the most um, useful safety tools that we have. Now, it's not, the, it's not the only thing that we're going to use, but if we use it correctly, it can truly save you hours in the woods to be able to get you back uh, quickly and safely. Uh, by yourself or with your team. And most importantly, uh, we're always out with the team. So uh, we're always going to have multiple people helping each other out. And so uh, know what you got, know what your team uses, know what kind of, of uh, GPSs your team uses. Our team, uh, we've bought the, the 700s or the 755s or whatever they are. Um, but then we also have a, a couple other brands. Uh, the Montanas are coming out now. Right. And so we're slowly starting to integrate those uh, in, but um, I don't know, Joe, I don't have $800 to drop on a Montana. I'd love to have one, but uh, these other ones, mine was $250 and it works great. And I really like using the cell phone. It really depends, like you said, where you're at 
if you're in an area like this where there's not very good cell range, it's going to eat up that battery. Right. Uh, if we're doing a, a in-town search and looking for, you know, um, uh, dementia patient or something like that, then, you know, it, it doesn't eat it up as quick right. Right. So, because you're in the cell tower. Right. And again, the key is to know whatever your GPS is and go out and yep. practice, 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 yep. practice. If you go on for a walk to the grocery store, turn it on, yeah. you know, mark a track, do a waypoints, um, just figure it out because it doesn't do you any good to have the darn thing if you don't know how to use it. And, Looks pretty uh, in the pocket. It does look pretty in the pocket, but you got to okay. turn it on and use the thing. <laughs> so three uh, points. What was the three points? Again? Three go. points. No, you want to know where you are. Yep. You want to know where you're going and you need to know how to get back. Where you are, where you're going, and how to get back. How to get right? back. That's so we right. got to say it one more time. Where you're going or where you're at, where you're going, and how to get back. I was always told repetition is, is how it uh, clicks in the head. And I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so i got to repeat it. Well, I think we're all in that boat, too. <laughs> so anyway, we hope you found this use, information useful. Maybe we'll uh, do individual videos on each of our GPSs just in case you have something similar. Yeah. So you can see what it looks like. Uh, and we'll show some screens and, yeah. and setups and, and go from there. Yeah. We hope you found this video real useful. Absolutely. Uh, hit that like, subscribe, and throw some comments in there. Let us know what you think and, and what do you use for your navigation and your nav navigation setup. All right. We'll see you out on the trail. See you later.